Yeah, but that, that comment, don't you think that that comment... For someone who's never heard of Nigeria. Well, for somebody who's never heard of Nigeria, yes, I agree. It could be demoralizing. But the truth of the matter is that somebody who has never heard of Nigeria will not, for the first time, come and invest. For someone who's heard and has never... Who has heard that is a huge country with great potential, if, if you are, has if, never if, come if, here you are, and if, if you are an invest. entrepreneur and you are going to invest, there are so many factors to be considered. It's not when just your because president says that young people prefer to sit down. No, your know. president says some uh, a lot of our young uh, a lot of our it's young. A sweeping, it's, it's no, a it didn't say all because yes, are, it's not in the semantics. It, what, what is it? What is it? It's about? not in the semantics. Did this, in, what is what is the meaning of generalization, please? He, the answer to that question was: What are the opportunities for investment? And you yes, could have used the, the president the, straight away yes, from that question. No yes, doubt about that. Yes. But what I'm telling you is that that was not a generalized and I think comment about Nigerian youth. Okay, let, let me get this straight because uh, it, it was same because the uh, his spokesperson came out to say that it was just uh, the the opposition was, you know, feasting on this to just demarket uh, the, the the country on should I say demarket Mr. I president. I think President Buhari but, is the president we, of Nigeria, we look at not it, the president. Of if we look at it, if we look at it. We've had a scenario like this when Nigeria was being, I thought, just very corrupt. And uh, Mr. President also said that we have some corrupt people. Are you looking at it at that magnitude, for instance, if at some point we had the president say that we had corrupt individuals in this country? How does it affect the psyche of the investor? Looking at it as against then and now that this statement was made. Well, you know Nigeria does not exist as an island. Just as we have corrupt people in Nigeria, so we have in every other part of the world. Okay, we'll go to break at the moment. Pardon me. I'll have this up in a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back. Well, we did let you know that uh, the senator representing Kogi West in the National Assembly, Dino Melai, has been arrested by the Immigration Service. He was arrested at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, on his way to Morocco. Now, he tweeted about this, announcing it on his Twitter handle, as you can see there, uh, that the immigration claim that he has been on the Interpol watch list and cannot be allowed to travel out of Nigeria. As a matter of fact, we also understand that he was already on board and was asked to disembark that his name is on the list and it cannot be allowed to travel. But we'll get you more on that story as we do get them. Let's get back to this in our concluding moments about this particular matter. We're talking about uh, the question which you put to uh, Mr. Nelson, so I hope you haven't lost your train of thought. Could you no, I've not lost my thought. Like I said, I responded to him that Nigeria is not an island. Corruption exists everywhere in the world. But people outside or even within are watching to see how you deal with your problems. If you are dealing with it dispassionately, people will see. It's will you consider clear. those statements as volatile statements? Which statements? The statements about Nigeria being corrupt and also the statement about the youths that we have right now. Yes, it, you can. You are can, they volatile? They are volatile statements, I agree. But, you know, they, these, they, we should really look at the issues more than the passing statement by Mr. President. That, look, these are problems we have on our hands. And the most important thing for us okay. should be... Our concluding moments, let's take a look at the response, the president's handlers, how, how they handled this matter, and how perhaps Nigerians also responded to how they responded to what the president has said. Tourism. I don't think that, I think the president's communication team have their work cut out for them. Um, I don't think that they've done a terrific job with responding to Nigerians. I think that they've stayed permanently on the defensive, and they're acting as if President Buhari is the president of a, part of the, a portion of the country. Um, I expect that leadership um, at every... Leadership is not the grandstanding of excellence. The hallmark of effective leadership is active engagement, root and branch transformation, and service delivery. So if Nigerians are, are aggravated, are upset about a statement their president have, has made, I expect the people that work for the president to come out and say, look, it, um, the president didn't mean it that way. It may have come off the wrong way. But the president, you know, didn't mean it this way. I used the opportunity to reassure Nigerian young people. Do not forget that Vice President Oshiba just spent so much time um, last week visiting, you know, young business owners, young entrepreneurs in Lagos, tech, you know, tech businesses, some of the you know, landmarks, seeing, trying to see some of the landmark achievements of young people. We need to do better, Chamberlain. We need to become a Nigeria where as citizens, we speak truth to our president and our leaders without any ill intentions, without using it as an opportunity to play politics or to criticize, because we will ultimately destroy these leaders when we continue to suck up to them without telling them the truth, that they need to 
Take care. All right. Yes, I agree with her that you know the media handlers of the president have not really done well enough to assuage the anger because I am very much impressed with the anger that has been exhibited, even though some have been politicized, because it tells you clearly how caring the people are about their number one citizen. So one expects the 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 response from the presidency to be one of you know trying to calm free nerves, trying to make them understand that look. The president didn't mean it. In and the, the president had talked about the a lot of young people yes. that decide to sit and do nothing could have focused on the positives that uh, and Mr. Which, which vice president which said. President exactly. Said. He right. could have focused on the positives and said that, look, young Nigerians are creating jobs with technology, agriculture. Mm. I mean, there's so many of entrepreneurship, social entrepreneurs, social impact. All right. So, we didn't uh, have to worry, talk about those young people doing nothing. So the thing is, I mean, the, the young people who are doing a lot always know that they are out there doing a lot. And so whether you give our generation credit or not, mm -hmm. the world is watching what we've done. <laughs> and they know, how, they know how far the elders are. Now you are coming back to me. Destroyed. Okay, and now, now unfortunately, time ta ta won't let us come back to <laughs> any one of this. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what we need to anchor at this point. Uh, Toyo Siakirile is the founder of Rise Networks, and uh, Nelson Ekujimi is the chairman of the Committee for the Protection of People's Mandate. People's Mandate. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, lady, gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you very on. much for having me. Thank you so okay. much, Amelie. Yes, Thank indeed. You. Thank you. And that's the show today. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. I'm Gimba Omar. See you tomorrow. Thank you. I'm Maupe Ogun Yusuf. Have a great day, everybody. I'm Ajuri Ingalale. The views and opinions expressed by guests on this program are those of the maker and do not necessarily reflect the views, opinions, and endorsement of Channels Television.